Hi, Thomas here. Today we'll take a look at how to customize the academic planner to fit your needs. If you don't have the planner yet, the link will be in the description. Let's start with an overview of the file. On the top, we have the settings that control dates, course names and highlighting. We'll take a look how to change those in a bit. On the right, you see a recommended legend to use in the planner. This is the one I personally use. So you can use this as a guide on how to style your to-do list or seminars or lectures uh, down below. And lastly, you can also collapse the settings by hitting this minus icon and then it just disappears and you can just focus on the planner. For now, let's leave these open. The first thing you got to do is to change the start date to match your start date. So for me, um, say I want to start the planner on Monday the 7th of February, like here. Then I would just change this to the 7th of February, like so. And you can see that this automatically shifts. You can say that today is the 8th. Then the term week of the start date. So if you start at the start of an academic term, this will be 1. But it could be that, like me, you're only starting to plan in week 4. So you would enter week 4. And this will show you the term week in each of the weeks of the planner here. And this column gives you the year week. As for highlighting, we have some highlighting options. We can highlight today's date or not. You can pick that from the drop down list. We can gray out the history, which means that previous dates will be gray, which can give you a bit more clarity. And finally, we have course names, which are given here. And you can enter your courses here. So for example, if I say that course one is accounting, then it will be reflected in the header. And we'll now take a look at how to add or remove courses. So say I've entered four courses now, but I actually want a fifth one. Then I could just go ahead and select the last column, the last course, and insert a new column before there. And this will automatically copy over all the formatting. Now, of course, we have a bit of a problem because here we have this cell linked to this header. And you can either just forget about this part and just type your fifth course here, or you can do it correctly and insert a new row here. Call this one course four. And maybe it's called uh, marketing. And then this one should be called course five. And then all we have to do still is to link this cell. And there we go, we added the course. Now to remove courses, you simply select their columns and you delete the columns, like so. Finally, let's take a look at how to add and remove weeks. Maybe your term is six weeks or maybe it's 12. So you want to be able to add or remove weeks. You just go to the last day of the planner. You select till where you want to remove it. And you just right click and delete. And now this will have removed all the days. If I want to go ahead and add days back, I just select the last row and I drag it down like so. And this will also automatically copy all the formatting. All right, so that's how to use the academic planner. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and talk to you next time.